Good afternoon to all the good friends of Israel. A great pleasure to be here this afternoon. Something that delighted me as I listened to different speakers. None of them released hatred through their mouth. They all spoke peace and love so that the world should know that both the Christians and the Jews believe in peace. And the books that we read, the Bible, speaks about loving people including your enemy. We can ask those who are saying, let Israel be annihilated. Does their book say they must love their enemies? Or does their book say they must hate their enemies? And if their book says they must hate their enemies, we want to say to them, learn from our book that says, love your enemies. For many years, the ACDP, African Christian Democratic Party, has unashamedly and publicly supported the right of Israel to exist within safe and secure borders and for her to enjoy the inalienable right to self-defense. We totally reject the appalling attitude of some nations and international organizations that questions Israel's right to self-defense against terrorist attacks. The ACDP believes that Israel has the moral obligation to protect all her citizens, particularly the elderly, women, and children from danger and all forms of external threats to their existence. We further believe that Israel's right to self-defense is in accordance with commonly accepted principles of international law. War is a terrible thing and the ACDP is grieved by the loss of life and terrible anguish families on both sides of the conflict are facing at this time. We regret the fact that some nations have chosen to condemn Israel only, conveniently ignoring the fact that Israel responded with air raids only after enduring a week of constant firing of rockets by Hamas into Israel. Those who are condemning Israel for the loss of innocent lives in Gaza should redirect their condemnation to Hamas, which is using women and children as human shield. Israel should be getting moral support from all loving citizens of the world and not condemnation. Israel should be receiving help from democratic and fair countries of the world as they are trying to protect their people and territory from the onslaught of Hamas that has vowed to wipe Israel from the face of the earth. Why does the international community not demand that Hamas accept the right of Israel to exist within safe and secure borders? Why does the international community not help Israel to destroy all the tunnels that Hamas has built to smuggle weapons and terrorists into Israel? Friends, I believe we need to challenge the international community. We need to say to them, stop being hypocrites. You will do everything in your power to defend your countries. And yet you do not allow Israel to defend herself. That is hypocrisy. 
that we must all condemn this afternoon. These same countries that have been condemning Israel will never allow tunnels to be built under their borders. Tunnels to be built alongside their borders as free and unrestricted passage for terrorists to smuggle weapons that would be used to kill and maim innocent civilians. The appalling treatment and condemnation of Israel by countries that claim to be democratic is shocking and is tantamount to justifying the aggression of those who want to annihilate Israel. Even though I'm talking about those who are trying to annihilate Israel, the fact is, the truth is, Israel will never, ever be annihilated. They have tried for centuries. They have failed. They have died. Israel is still alive. They will continue to die, and Israel will remain alive. ACDB believes that the ultimate solution in the Middle East crisis will be in a two-state negotiated settlement. The state of Israel and the state of Palestine living peacefully and sovereignly next to each other. As I close, the ACDP one more time calls on the international community to put pressure on Hamas to accept Israel's right to exist within safe and secure borders. And also to do everything possible, including acting impartially and quickly to ensure, to ensure lasting peace in the Middle East. May the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob bless, prosper, protect Israel in the midst of her enemies. May the word of David come to pass even these days when David said, he prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemies. So let the God of Israel continue to bless and prosper Israel. God bless Israel. God bless Jerusalem. God bless Jerusalem. Long live Israel. Viva Israel. God bless you.